As we mentioned in the last episode, Australia has now gone further down the rabbit hole. This time, the government of Western Australia has been on a witch hunt with vendors. And in New South Wales, they are on the same path, sending letters threatening large fines and stating that liquids sold as non-nicotine actually contain high nicotine content. For background, since October 21, it has been illegal across all of Australia to buy nicotine without first getting a prescription from a doctor. The current legislation in Western Australia, the Tobacco Product Control Act 2006, bans the sale of items that look like cigarettes, such as candy cigarettes. However, the Western Australian Health Minister has decided to reinterpret the act differently overnight and they now say it is prohibited to sell everything vape related, including liquids, coils, batteries, and cotton wick. All of a sudden, after years of compliance checks and guidance with no issue, vape equipment is banned, the same as candy cigarettes. Dr. Alex Wodak of Athra and a longtime harm reduction expert has said, Vaping is regulated more tightly and much more restricted than cigarettes. And if we're going to be doing anything, we should be restricting cigarettes more than we are restricting vaping. Reese White from Clouded Visions provided his thoughts on the situation by saying, no new legislation has been introduced. There have been no amendments to the Tobacco Control Act. They've simply changed their minds with no regard for the tens of thousands of Western Australians who rely on vaping as an effective quitting aid. He goes further. We have consulted with the health department on a continual basis for the past five years, obtaining their approval prior to the first store even being opened. We were given very specific rules under which to operate, rules we have all adhered to. Now, they are denying any of this ever took place, suggesting we have all somehow been openly operating illegal businesses throughout the state for the past five years. This is nothing short of a complete abuse of power, bordering on harassment, a complete disregard for due process or natural justice. A current smoker. Dr. Colin Mendelson, a smoking cessation provider and founder of Athra, believes that this ill-advised government plan will have the opposite effect to what was intended. Instances of use and misuse by teens will become more common and tens of thousands of Western Australian ex-smokers will be forced back to cigarettes. The only beneficiaries of this misguided plan will be the tobacco companies. <laughs> <laughs>